NASA, one of the world's leading space agencies, possesses a system called Sentry which exhaustively monitors asteroids and their possibilities of whether they could collide with Earth in the next 100 years or not. As per the entry on Sentry website for Asteroid 2009 JF1 which was probably the source of the original story that brought such fanfare to the world. Outer space is one of the biggest unknown entities to human beings, although space agencies around the world do their best to try to discover things that happen outside our planet. The asteroid 2009 JF-1 has been considered as potentially dangerous. The North American Space Agency, which has a list of space rocks at risk of colliding with Earth, has announced a date for the impact of this asteroid, 8.34 a.m. on May 6, 2022. Through Sentry, a collision monitoring system, NASA has exhaustively observed the asteroid 2009 JF-1, classified as a near-Earth object, NEO, which means that it is close enough to be considered a threat. The system classifies asteroids according to their size, speed, dimensions, and by year in which an impact is likely to occur. The space agency estimates it to be around 13 meters in diameter. Experts consider that the impact could cause an explosion equivalent to 230 kilotons of dynamite, which would be about 15 times more powerful than the atomic bomb that exploded over Hiroshima at the end of World War. However, it is estimated that there is a 0.026% chance of the asteroid impacting. This small probability exists mainly because of the low quality of the orbit, which generates an uncertainty zone of more than 16 million kilometers. This means that the asteroid can hit, or it can miss, the Earth for another 16 million kilometers. As the quality of orbit is low, the 12-year accumulation of small variations in calculations generates differences of several days and a few million kilometers in the maximum approach expected for 2022. Thus we believe that it is practically impossible to predict its accurate date and time as it has been done in various publications. There are several versions of this false news circulating on the internet with some small differences between them, which adds that cordless phone effect, where with each version, the message seems to depart further from reality. The basis of all these materials is the asteroid 2009 JF-1, which was discovered in 2009 and would be being monitored by NASA due to its risk of impact in 2022. The asteroid would have about 130 meters in diameter and energy equivalent to 230,000 tons of dynamite, which would be about 15 times more powerful than the atomic bomb that exploded over Hiroshima at the end of World War II. Other information available in Sentry that are explored in the articles that speak of the 2009 JF-1 are, the speed of the approach, about 95,000 km per per hour and the impact energy equivalent to 230,000 tons of dynamite. However, in the latter there is a small confusion. Energy is reported in the megaton unit, 0.23 metric tons, but this is a simplification for megatons of TNT or millions of tons of dynamite. However, many publications reported that the asteroid had an energy of 230 tons, and ton is not a unit of energy. Measurement But without a doubt, the biggest failure and the main responsible for the uproar caused around this asteroid was probably a simple conversion error. The estimated average diameter of the asteroid is 0.013 kilometers, that is, only 13 meters, and not 130 meters as reported in all publications. The term massive asteroid found in some articles here in Brazil is probably a wrong translation of the term massive asteroid used for high-mass asteroids. This term may have been used due to the confusion regarding the energy measurement units mentioned above. Someone may have understood that it would have 230,000 tons of mass when, in fact, the 2009 JF-1 has about 2.8 thousand tons. Much less, but still, it is no small feat it must be difficult to feel safe imagining that a rock with so many tons can fall on us at any moment. But it is nothing to worry about as it would hardly cause any further damage to the ground. Thanks to its great speed, a good part of its mass must be vaporized in contact with our atmosphere, generating a large and luminous meteor, without great risks. For the population. 
So much so that, despite passing very close to Earth and having some risk of impact, it is not considered a PHA, or potentially dangerous asteroid, contrary to what is reported in several publications. In summary, asteroid 2009 JF1, about 13 meters long, has a small chance, only 0.026%, of reaching Earth in 2022 at an uncertain date. However, there is no cause for concern, because even if it does, the asteroid is not large enough to cause further damage to the ground. I hope you all liked the video. Please like and subscribe to our channel Space Bites and also click the bell icon to get new video updates.